And our reporter Rick Salinger among those who's gotten both doses of the vaccine. Yeah, Rick met the eligibility requirements, got that second shot today. And Rick is joining us now to tell us uh, how you're feeling, Rick. Well, not too bad right now, Karen. We have heard that the first dose is okay, but when you get that second shot, that's when you may get the adverse reaction. I got my second vaccination here at St. Joseph Hospital today. Let's see how it went. Hey, this Hi. is it, the yes, moment man. that so many people wait so long for. Yes, COVID vaccination number two. Any questions I was asked? No, I'm ready. All right, which arm are we gonna go for? Left. Left. This left. is the Pfizer vaccine, the same kind as my first injection. Right. One, two, poke. It didn't hurt, but what comes next? Some people are feeling it the night of, some people are feeling it the next morning when they wake up. Whatever I feel is sure to be better than ending up on a ventilator or worse. It was very when good. Alice Caterlin got her second dose of Moderna. The next morning, I woke up and I had a fever of more than 100. And I was very tired and I had a bad headache and I just didn't feel well. She didn't feel well for 48 hours. Other symptoms can include chills and fatigue. But I asked Dr. Jennifer Davis of SCL Health Pharmacies. Now that I have gotten both doses, after a couple of weeks, am I in the clear? Am I free to do what I want? I wish I could say that you are, um, but vaccines that we have now were only shown to be 95% effective. So I will continue to wear this mask and social distance. I was told to stay away from ibuprofen. And as far as getting back to my normal life, well, not just yet. But this is a good start. One more thing, I do feel a bit of chills right now, but I can't tell you if that's from the vaccine or the weather. Live at St. Joseph Hospital, Rick Salinger, covering Colorado First. Yeah, it's only 18 degrees out there, Rick. Thank you so much. And if you are eligible for vaccination and trying to get more information on it, we can help. We have resources for nearly every county at our website, cbsdenver.com.